whenever we create a brand new shape, you can see we have a start point at 0, 0. This is in reference to the center of the alignment. So we'll actually go ahead and change this start point, we'll change the offset to negative 3, and that associates with starting our shape 3 meters to the left of our alignment. We can zoom out here, and we can see we have our start point here at negative 3 and 0 for elevation. Uh, this is denoted by this diamond shape. We also have our center line of our alignment uh, denoted by a plus symbol here. So we'll be good with our start point. We'll move this up for visibility. And now we want to create a new segment type. We have this drop down here. We have six different segments we can create. Um, if you're familiar with Trimble Access Tunneling, then these are the same. Uh, these first three are ways to create arc segments, while the bottom three are ways to create line segments. So we'll go ahead and choose a line elevation and offset to start. For a horizontal distance, we want to leave that as zero, and we'll choose a vertical distance of three to create a line three meters straight up. We'll zoom out again here, a three meter line. Again, our alignment is still here at zero, zero. For our next segment, we'll start creating an arc, kind of a classic tunnel shape we'll try and create here. Uh, we want to use the arc center point and angle. This red exclamation mark shows up as our angle isn't currently formatted correctly. If we navigate away from this field, formatting is added and it disappears. If it persists, you can hover over the warning for additional info. It may be caused by invalid format or values. I want to have a 90 degree delta angle and a horizontal center of zero. Uh, we'll change this vertical center though to three, so it'll be up here uh, in line with the elevation of the segment we created. So we have half of our tunnel uh, roof, the, the arc there. We'll go ahead and create another arc. Um, normally you could just create this as 180 all the way across here, but I'll just combine some arcs so you can see the different capabilities we have. This time we'll go arc endpoint and radius. We want to use the same radius as the previous arc, so we'll see that here. Um, again, like most other things in TBC, if it's in blue, you can edit it. If it's in gray, it's a calculation that you can't change. But we want to match the previous radius, so we'll select 3. And we want to pick our endpoint, so we want our offset to actually be 3 meters over here, uh, kind of mirror this. And we want our height to be 3 as well. So there we go. We create a nice kind of a consistent arc out of two different types. The final thing we'll do is we'll create another straight segment. Uh, this time we'll use the line end point and we want to end it at an elevation of zero and an offset of three. So there we have our kind of classic tunnel shape. So that's our basic tunnel creation workflow. However, there's a lot of advanced creation, editing, viewing, and QA and reporting tools and functions to expand on.